action before the interval. Let's have another one. Welcome to WrestleForce TV. I am a commentator, and this is Mark True joining with us. The ever tired Oliver Peace. How are you doing, Oliver Peace? Uh, I'm knackered, Mark. I'm... That was a hell of a battle. We've just come off with Kieran. Would have been yesterday or the day before yesterday's upload right here on WrestleForce TV. So from my perspective, I've just come off a grueling mess with Kieran Lacey. I'm so proud to have beaten him. It used to be that it was a it was a big, big effort for Kieran to beat me. But now the tables have turned. It's me who needs to beat Kieran. Woo. Takes some doing. Yes, Matt Swan, live from Harlow, we had Oliver Peace versus Kieran Lacey. And what a brilliant contest that was. But as you said, you came out victor. But moving on to match two, introducing to you a former WrestleForce International Champion, Ian Jordan Saeed. Indeed, the last ever WrestleForce International Champion. Before he lost the belts, a few knew where the belts were unified. Jordan Saini has currently had a sudden change of attitude, being more upright and realising the mistake in his former ways. How do you feel about this new change of attitude, Mr. Pierce? Well, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, the people in Harlem got to witness Jordan being turned on by his former partner, Callie Gray, got to witness his big battle last time in tag action with a helping hand from Jordan. And this match will come to the castle with one fall to decide. Presenting an introducing to you, there's always five words in the ring. Indeed, yeah, we saw uh, Karim Bragante lend Jordan a hand in tag action right here in Harlow. The people have seen Jordan, and indeed, I mean, how could you not sympathise with being turned on? Wow, let's see who... 100%. Introducing. This is definitely not the chicken nugget. The ever-present, the ever-annoying, the ever-big Mac, Harry McDonald. Have you had your matches against this man? I have had one match indeed at the Witten Public Hall with him. Mark, he yet to tangle with him yet. Not on a WrestleCourse TV event, but uh, I'm sure time, only a matter of time before you and him go at it. But uh, yeah, Harry McDonald was victorious last time in this building. It was him and the Ratmaster successfully defeating Danny Hayes and Kian Cameron. Uh, weren't as successful in, um, in capturing the WrestleCourse Tag Team Championships, but we're going to see Harry McDonald back in singles action now. Harry McDonald's had a back and forth history with his loss record here at WrestleForce. From beating Benny Nitro to losing to Benny Nitro. From actually... winning tag team action to losing tag team action. Indeed. Oh, with Benny Nitro, it was actually the other way around. He, he lost to Benny Nitro, but then beat him. Uh, there's a, a lot of people requesting for a rubber match there. I'm sure that's also going to come your way right here on WrestleForce TV. A deciding match between Harry McDonald and Benny Nitro in a best of three. Now in the ring, the big man himself, Harry McDonald. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, Harry McDonald has a lot of gob on him, but is actually giving up some size. In the fact, that's the biggest part about him is his ego and his attitude. Knowing from previous experiences of our previous ways, it doesn't help to run your mouth to bigger men than you. And Harry McDonald's is making himself a hundred times worse in this scenario. So here we go, it's the first time these men have ever met in an actual one-on-one -on -one wrestling contest. Oh! Jordan. The only thing Jordan has given up is, is his attitude. It's a, a Big Mac. Big Mac's got nothing about him except attitude. So let's see how he fares against the former and last international champion of Jordan Sidon. Oh, no! Well, hey, we don't even wait to the bell there. Big Mac being snarly as always, but Jordan capitalising. Oh! And a big atomic drop right on the nads. Oh, and a big drop straight to the chest. That has not worked out. Harry McDonald was hoping to get a, the early jump on Jordan. Instead, he received a knee right to the unmentionables, right into the ding ding, as you might say. Right into his chicken nuggets, as you would say. 
Or as Graham would say, that are running away. Um, the referee, Carl Williams, looks like he's going to try and get them back in the ring instead of making the count out. Just as long as we don't want to see a match. Oh! And Jordan say he played the waiting game and tricked Harry McDonald. Indeed, Jordan anticipated that move right there. He was right on the money with it. Harry McDonald was going to sneak his way back into the building. Why have been always so ridiculous with Jordan Say? They're putting him in the chair. side of Graham. And we're not done. Apparently someone else is going to get involved. This is a one-on-one -on -one contest. That's two members of the audience giving the Big Mac a chest. I think Jerry McDonald will survive that second one. But still, uh, it's a matter of principle. How many people... Oh, uh, and he's returning. he's returning. He's oh. returning. Say too much fun in games from Jordan. Oh, and that ridiculous back shot. I feel bad for the big man. Even though he's got a big mouth, I feel bad for his back. Jordan said, I think Jordan said would be a good chess player, having, having seen him anticipate all of Harry McDonald's moves so far. Oh, and another back shot from Jordan Saeed. It's a brutal night tonight in Harlow. Many a shot, many a strike I've heard right from here. And that's echoed out throughout the parade and sports club. Joe and Saeed go for that new signature DVD. Taken from homage and paying respects to Karim Rigonte with that move. Oh! On his fingers! One! And a kick out of one! Didn't do him much for the pin attempt, but just, uh, I mean, Jordan's used his hands throughout the whole contest to lay in strikes, and now he's just had his fingers stabbed on. Harry Mack taking advantage of the, of the time that he's had, going straight to the thing that Jordan Saeed has been using the most, and that's his hands and arms. And that's the first thing he goes to when he has any advantage. Even though he's got a big mouth, he's actually got a bit of a big brain too. Not exactly legal, but it certainly does cut the oxygen off from you. If you can't breathe, oh. you get tired quicker. And look at Jordan just threw a punch and immediately oh. uh, was nursing his it. right hand, yeah. Now he's working the arms, completely taking out the things that John Sawyer did his most in his matches. And now a shot of driving that shot. More oxygen deprivation now from that. Oliver Pitch, you've been watching his match through and through so far. Who do you think, as Turk, is going to take victory in this match? Oh, that's very hard to call. It's been 50 50. Jordan, very dominant in the early goings with, with silliness in the audience. But Harry McDonald, ever since he stamped on Jordan's hands, it's been almost all Harry McDonald. Harry going for that suplex. Oh! But he decides to give up as soon as he can't lift him. It's not going to be easy for Harry to do slow. Nice no. Harry. Keep up the strikes. That knee and choking him. A more legal now method of depriving oxygen. Although this is more of a neck talk. He's got his hands on the that chin. The crowd are getting firmly behind Jordan Saeed. Yeah, Jordan Saeed's really made a great connection with him. Oh. Jordan's fighting back. Oh. Oh. His hands might have recovered and now he's sending. Harry McDonald switches and a drop kick right to the button. Straight to the shoulder, 
strong kick out at two. Harry McDonald's trying to keep him down, but Jordan just keeps fighting his way right back up. And this has turned into a very great, serious contest. I didn't think it would. I really, that's so unwise when you when you've got the better of a man larger than yourself as Jordan. And I don't, Harry's tried all match for this, and, and he's going for the suplex again. I thought he would have learned. And Jordan returned in the favour. You try and try and try a big match, you're gonna fail. Especially when you talk about the fans' mothers. Harry McDonald's biggest enemy is his ego in this match. He's repeatedly tried to slam or suplex Jordan and failed every time. And Jordan firing up with a big clothesline. Jordan's nursing his hands and, and another clothesline. That's that strike from Harry into a scoop slam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now Harry McDonald begging to not be chopped by Jordan. Scooping him up, do that! Samoan drop! And a kick out from Harry McDonald. Even though he's got a big ego, his endurance is very impeccable from the young man Harry McDonald. Well, indeed a great wrestler, and as you say, resilient and tough and determined. But how much more can he take? Jordan's retaken control. Clothesline, his rebound clothesline. And a kick out at two. He can't believe it. The big man can't believe it. Now he's going for the big tasty knee. Oh, he goes for the super kick actually. Oh, and he hits him with an headbutt. What a headbutt. And a super kick on the chin. That was almost a three. Big Mac looks like he's about to cry. He can't believe Jordan's kicked out of everything, including that super kick. And look, that's a face of someone, someone who's determined who doesn't know what it will take to put his opponent away. He's now taking the mick out of the crowd. And now he's going for that signature Big Tasty. Well, what a match that was. Both combatants left it all in the ring and they endured a lot and in this summer heat too. But Jordan Saeed keeps building momentum. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's tasty indeed. A big tasty finish for the winner, Jordan and sincerely entertaining in doing so. Commiserations to your loser, Harry McDonald. But we've been Metaforce TV. Thank you very much for joining us. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Metaforce UK. And check out our website at Metaforce. Thank you very much, Metaforce fans. We've been Mark and Oliver, please. And we shall see you all next time.